Welcome back, everybody. Today is a very special show, totally dedicated to the University of Nairobi. Every single Thursday, we give them a chance, all right, to showcase some of the wonderful things that are happening right here at this institution. You've just heard from two gorgeous ladies. Now we segue directly into Mean Machine, the big guys, all right? So I've just learned right now from one of them that it's, you know, Haka is that warrior song? No. For them, it's an anthem, and that's what they call it, and that forms the clip that you are about to see before you meet all the officials that form Mean Machine. Take a look. Yes, indeed, I'm holding one, just one of the many trophies that this great team has achieved. You guys saw that great clip. It takes a lot. It's not just about fun and games. It's a lot of blood, sweat and tears and sacrifice. This morning, I'm joined by the director, the captain and the chairman, of course, who are here. Hi, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Morning. I'm just going to put this there. All right, Mr. Mbabu Muredi, you are the director. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved with Mean Machine and a little bit of the history of the team. Okay, um, I joined this university um, over 10 years ago. Yeah. And um, when I got here, I, I learned that um, Mean Machine is as old as this university. Wow. Indeed, they started um, in the late 50s when the university uh, uh, started, University of Nairobi. This university runs um, just about 24 disciplines, and Mean Machine is uh, one of the torch bearers among the disciplines. Um, because of the profile of its participation, then as the director of sports, we, which I am today, you have to take care of that particular team by understanding its uh, programs, understanding its day-to-day -day running, by way of training, and so on and so forth. Okay. So that's by sheer uh, fact that you are in charge of sport in the university of You just have to get involved with Mean Machine. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Ken Lagat, you are the chair. Um, tell me about yourself, how you became the chair, and your main involvement within the team. Um, I started playing rugby back in high school. When I was in Mango High School. Uh, Woo, Mango! We have to give accolades. Thank right? you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Thank you for that. Yeah. Where well, guys used to call me LG. At that moment, it was life is good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. So, when I was a captain in high school, I had great passion for the game. And I knew that in rugby, that's where there is brotherhood. That's where we live as a family, mm -hmm. far away from home. Eh? Mm -hmm. But you, f you still feel at home. Yeah. So, when I was called at the University of Nairobi, I didn't stop playing rugby. I joined Mean Machine, where um, I represented the team at very many championships okay. and tournaments. And thereafter, uh, being uh, now that I was uh, the chairman, uh, the, the captain yes. back in high school, yes. I decided that I should give back to the team that has built me. That's where I decided that I will run for the chairmanship. And gladly, this great team. But what that, did you uh, Got you as the chairman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They voted me unanimously, and I'm the current chairman. And I want to say thank you very much. Yeah, give it up for the. You're, you're welcome. If you're welcome. And of course, you are the captain, Renee. Uh, tell me a little bit about how, how did you get involved in rugby? When I was a kid, a cousin of mine and my brother played rugby in high school, and they were good at it. So the glory enticed me. So when I got to high school, I decided to try out the challenge, okay. and I realized I'm a natural, so that's just the story. The rest and is history. Then, yeah, the rest is history. I, I'm just a bit curious about, I guess, how you come from enjoying the game as a high schooler and deciding that this is what you want to do um, as a profession, as a career, and climbing um, the ladder into chairman, into captain, into director. Tell me your experience, Mr. Murray. Um Right from... Um, once you join this university as a first year, we have a day that is set aside by the university management where we explain the services that are offered besides academic programs. Now, one of it is the sports. So we explain the programs of this university, and one of the team that comes in that uh, list is rugby. So we do explain um, the, 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 the essence of playing sports, generally speaking. Okay. But um, basically, uh, Inverse and Ruby are such that we have three tire teams. We call it Machine 1, Machine 2, and Machine 3. Okay. 
Now, when you have become of age, like them here now, you are in machine one. Okay. That means you are played all the way from inter classes to inter campuses to inter universities. Now you are playing at the, at the club level. Right. Um, machine two is you are aspiring now. You have just come from low there and you are aspiring to be machine one. Yeah. That is machine two. Uh, uh, machine three is where now you, are, you have just come from high school, just like they have explained, and you want to find out what is this thing called mean machine. Yes. And then you join the team. So we have basically uh, three tire teams. Machine one, that is almost leaving the institution because of the experience. And then machine two, that has come up and it's coming to fill in that gap. Okay. And then machine uh, three, that is just joining the system. Okay. All right. Wana Chairman, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges um, of, of your job, which I'm sure is quite high pressure, and, and some of the challenges that the team has faced. Actually, first I want to give credit where it's due. I want to say the university has actually provided us most of the things that we need. Uh, that is in terms of financial support, in terms of uh, medical support, in terms of um, allowances, when we go f to participate in various games. Okay. Uh, here in Nairobi, outside Nairobi, even in East Africa, the university always stands with, uh, with, the, with the team. But what we are here, what I want to appeal as a chairman is we accept any kind of sponsors, potential sponsors outside there, because we have a very nice team, it's credible. Right. But maybe we can say the university is giving its best, but we just still a, a little bit more. It could go a long way. For yeah, because team. for the university, um, there are very many other teams. It's not only mean machine. It's not like the other clubs outside there that we are competing against. Right. Whereby in Parlak, it's just a rugby club. So all the resources there are used to manage the club. Right. Uh, yeah, in the university, there, is, there, there are other good teams, like swimming, basketball, football, okay. name them, all of them. So because we want to live uh, uh, in brotherhood, including the other teams, we, also, we are also concerned about the other teams. That's why we are calling for maybe other... Partnerships, sponsorships. Yeah, spon and, and sponsorship, we accept that. Okay. And from companies, from old boys, from even you. Okay. Yeah, we yes. Um, <laughs> you know what? From your lips to God's ears, I will sponsor me in machine one day. Yeah. Thank uh, Cindy, you. guys. Yeah. Yes. Go. Go ahead. Um, thank you very much. Uh, in addition to what the chairman is saying, the 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 system, the university, is doing its best. However, because of the current economic situation, government capitation, and so on in public sector, um, the, the the challenges in the mean machine, as it were are very tire. The touches on equipment, okay. touches on facilities, and touches on the programs, that is the fixtures. In terms of equipment, you realize that um, because of budgetary constraints, the university can afford one set of kit for financial year. Okay. Now, if you have a company out there that can come and partner with the, with the university and provide a second and a third set of kit, and then uh, uh, sell its brand like that, uh, when it comes to the program, uh, the university uh, mid machine participate in a wide range of uh, programs, mm -hmm. ranging from inter universities to regional sports uh, to club levels and so on and so forth. Now, the, the challenges of um, um, uh, accommodation, good uh, accommodation for that matter, and so on. Right. And so, the university comes and does that, all that, but if you can have a partner, corporate body out there, coming to say, oh, I can also come in and chip in in terms of good feeding accommodation, right. and so on and so forth. Now, in terms of facilities, we have one of the best uh, rugby field in the, in the, in the region. Yes. However, we require another uh, science facility called uh, a, a, a gymnasium complex. It, it goes a long way when it comes to the training of the team. The university, this uh, particular uh, financial year, is starting a program to, to, to establish a gym. But if you can have a sponsor who can partner with the institution, it can go a long way. Absolutely. Yes. All right. I think, Renee, it's key that we get to look at a day in the life of a rugby player when it comes to diet, when it comes to how often are you in the field uh, in practice, and, of course, tournaments as well. Take us through that. Mm -hmm. 
in our case as Mean Machine, the scenario is different from other rugby clubs because we are also students. Okay. So our primary objective in university is education then rugby school curriculum. Okay. But that said, in a day, we advi I advise my fellow players that when they wake up, they have to eat at least something that has protein. So since we're in campus and we can't afford bacon and mm. expensive protein, groundnuts are okay or Simpson. Right. Then in a day, as a rugby player, as a main machine rugby player, you have to have five meals, at least five meals. No way. In a day. Wow. For you to be at par. With and proper meals, not small, small, yeah, pro proper even, meals. Even the, the groundnuts I'm saying in the morning, it's not just It's not breakfast. Session. It's yeah. not breakfast. That's yeah. just for... Snack. A snack. Yes. Before okay. you, you do your teeth. And <laughs> okay, okay. Then about training, we train thrice a week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So that's six hours before. That is in season. Okay. Then off season, we train the entire week. Every single day, you have one hour. But now, the, the sessions, they are categorized. We have sessions for conditioning, strength and conditioning. Then we have technical sessions. Then we have bonding sessions where we just meet. We don't do anything rugby related. Yeah. But we just. The fun times. Yeah, the fun times. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gentlemen, so we right now we'll take a very quick commercial break. You've seen the trophies. I think it's key. We talk about all the great milestones in just a second. And of course, the first row is filled with team members. All right. Hey, guys. Hi. Are you all ready? Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So when we come back after the break, we'll be speaking to these gentlemen about what life is like as a main machinist. All right. We'll be right back after this. Yes, indeed, we are back. Today is a very special show where we're dedicating this show to the University of Nairobi. We started out, of course, with Boswa. Log on to our social media platforms to find out more about them. But now we are all about Mean Machine. And you know Kenyans love rugby. To get these trophies, gentlemen, is no easy feat. All right, talk to me a little bit about the wins and the gains within the team, Bona Director. Thank you very much. Uh, mean Machine, uh, once they said they are foot in any particular field, they ensure that they win. That is where uh, mean machine, that's a, it's made up of that, um, that metal. Um, like I said, initially, uh, the, 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 the team participate in a series of, um, of, uh, of uh, tournaments, of uh, leagues, and so on. For example, we have um, the league that is nationally organized, where other clubs participate. Right. Uh, these are the um, Eric Shari, uh, Kenya Cup, and so on and so forth. But I want to single out one particular league that is, is a, a year old. This is the, we call it the Kings of Rugby. Okay. Kings of Rugby is uh, purely for the universities, university signed. For the last uh, two years, uh, that has been on. And uh, the last one weekend ago, the team participated, and there were about uh, 21 teams, and they emerged the tops. In fact, this is one of the trophies. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, uh, that has gone on and on. The other related uh, uh, tournaments and, uh, and, the, and the leagues and so on. And this is where now they have won. These are just samples that we have carried. There are many others of course. In, the, in, the, in the sports department. Okay. Yeah. Your own experience and I think the culture within the team, when you don't win, what happens? Actually, um, that is uh, really a very tough question. Yeah, I'm because, sure. Because in rugby, the most enjoyable moments actually are when you are winning yeah. when you are losing very demoralizing uh, especially when you are in, in the leadership position whereby you are the captain you are the chairman you are the patron everyone is looking at you so you are, but all in all what we always do during those moments when we lose we come together as a team we talk on maybe the challenges or the mistakes that we have made that has led to us uh, losing okay. such uh, maybe a game or a tournament or championship. Then after that, we discuss, we know we are going to improve. So we don't take th those moments th th uh, th those moments as if they just came just so that we just leave them to go by. It's a reason to keep yeah, striving. Yeah. To keep us training more, yeah. to keep us, with, that's the time we come together, we are there for one another most more than when we win, actually. Because yeah. when we win, we just celebrate 
uh, for some few minutes and everyone is gone, then we train again the, the following week. But, but when we lose, actually, that's the time we come together. That's Amazing. the time we look for uh, our brothers, all of them. Yeah. Those who are playing, those who didn't make to play that, uh, that, that tournament, we come together. Okay. Actually, in rugby, I've come to learn that that's where you make more brothers than your mother gave you. Amazing. Yeah. Brothers for life. Yeah. Um, now, of course, injuries are something, Renee, that nobody wants uh, to deal with, but it's a reality. Talk to me a little bit about injuries when it comes to Mean Machine and how you guys deal. The director said, yeah. currently, we are the varsity kings of rugby, both in 15s and 7s. So we touched all the universities in Kenya. So on injuries, Rugby is a contact sport, so you can't avoid injuries. Yeah. It's a setback to us because as much as the university tries to cater for us medically, the requirements of a rugby team, mean machine specifically, because we play almost all year round. Mm -hmm. That means at some point your body will give in. That means injuries will come. So Injuries are a setback, and it's very emotional when a teammate or yourself, you are, you are a victim of an injury. Because that means you don't get to play, or you don't, you don't get to offer what you have with your brothers in battle. Absolutely. Yeah. It must be very, very tough indeed. Yeah. Um, very recently, uh, some sad news, of course, to the, full, to the whole fraternity. Uh, rugby has suffered a huge loss. Um, the KCB player, Macau, tell me about this man, please. Kilonzo, yes. Kilonzo, sorry, yes. Mm -hmm. Kilonzo was a very, very good rugby player. Yes. We played the same position, but now, since he was in KCB, played opposite sides. He had been called up in the Kenya team just recently, so he was rising, only 23 years old. Mm -hmm. And it's very sad, even when I heard the news through my teammates, I could not believe because Kilonzo is one person who does smart you in different ways. Yeah. He could to hit you, he could chip the ball over you, he could sidestep you. He had the heart and the vigor to play rugby. So that is someone who's really good. Someone who would have taken the rugby scene, the, rugby, the Kenyan rugby to the next level. It's a huge loss, isn't and it? It's a, it's a huge, huge loss. loss. Our deepest condolences, of course, to the family and friends of Kilonzo and, of course, to uh, every rugby player that knew him. It's a loss for the country, actually. Looking at, of course, where we are ranked as a country, uh, Kenya is very well known, not just for running, but now for rugby. Um, what does it take to actually get called to, to the national team, Rene? Uh, in my view, yeah. it takes dedication because in every game you play, someone is always watching. I mean, if you give your best, someone will spread the word. So the Kenyan selectors don't need a lot. They need your dedication, your yearn for knowledge. You have to keep wanting to know more about how you, sh you can do something better. Then. Your discipline, of course, is something key in rugby because if you're not disciplined, that means you can't cope with the system. Yeah. But bottom line is you have to have the heart to play rugby Absolutely. at that level and you'll be selected. It's not, it's not rocket science. It is not rocket yeah. science. Absolutely. Now, looking at, of course, the, the things that are needed, when we look at nationally, you can see that there's been national effort, even from government, to recognize this sport and to give it the support that it needs. At your level, when you say sponsorship and funding and partnership for a director, who specifically would you say that you're looking at and, and where can they come in? We would uh, be very, very grateful and honored as an institution and as rugby, mean machine, if other uh, corporate world, for example, East African uh, breweries, yeah. uh, Brookside, Safaricom, KCB, everybody. Safaricom, mm. everybody, yes. to come on board and partner with the youth. As you know, um, uh, sport build character, and like you have alluded, most of the club come to watch uh, mid machine playing, and uh, uh, trust that um, all these clubs are uh, the players are contributing from mid machine. Right. You go to every club, you find two, three, four players of mid machine. Absolutely. Yes. So we would be very happy if um, the corporate world uh, and others that have not mentioned in the list yeah. to come forward 
and partner with even, us. Even private citizens Even can. private citizens. Absolutely. There are people so in this so country so who can. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I would like, personally, yeah. as a student here, and I realize all students pay their fees through Barclays. Yeah. And in the 80s and 90s, as I've read in history, Barclays had a rugby team, a very successful one. It used to harness team players from Mean Machine to represent them when they are done with schooling. So, yeah. personally, as the captain, I'd like to challenge Barclays if they could get back to rugby through Mean Machine. Because it's even, it's even very... It's not a coincidence that the colors are the same. Yeah. Barclays and Mean Machine, it's blue true. and white. So it, we, it, we it, want it's a partnership made in heaven that just needs to happen. Yeah. Do you know, here on Better Living, we know the CEO, Jeremy. So sh shall we go see him? Yeah. I think we, we should. Shall Barclays, this is a call to you. And not just Barclays, as we've said. Okay, Safaricom, you can come in on this. EABL, Brookside. This is an amazing team that just needs a little bit of a boost. Log on to our social media platforms, of course, to find out more information. But we will be knocking on your doors for sure. Of course, when you look at the fans, me, that's it. You know me, I'm a fan. I'm j I, I don't know the rules. Thank you. I don't know what's going on most of the time, but the euphoria and the fanaticism that comes with rugby. Talk to me about that before we take a look at a clip. Mm, actually, um, that euphoria that comes with rugby, that euphoria comes actually because rugby is a fun full game. Yes, it's it a is. game full, full of fun. When the players are inside in the pitch, in the field playing, actually they, it looks like they are fighting. But in the real sense, they are not fighting. They are just looking for space run over and beat the other team. You score a try, that's it. You get points. But in most cases, ladies, I must admit, they go there to look at the physical no. appearance. I mean, like come people. on. Like do, you, do you blame <laughs> us? Right, ladies? No, <laughs> All right, no, you, got, you guys work out, you spend all this time in the field, let us appreciate you. Come on. Cindy, your ladies, thank yay! You, thank you. All right, everybody. Now, at the front row of very patient and silent men sitting there, they're like, Kubi, we're hungry. I know you guys are hungry. I'm going to feed you in just a second. Good morning. How are you guys doing? I'm going to start with the gentleman right here with the dashiki beads. How are you doing? What's your name? Well, thank you. Uh, my name is Anthony Aboyan. Okay. And I'm the brains and brown behind the team. Ooh, yeah. very well said, all back. right. Uh, so my main task on the pitch is usually making sure that we execute our game plan, yeah, and that's just my major role. Ah, uh, game plans. Yeah. That is so, uh, why, why did you decide to join Mean Machine? I decided to join Mean Machine because uh, it gives us young guys the opportunity to play, and that's really all you need. The more you play, the better you become and the higher you climb in the ladder. Amazing, all yeah. right. There is a gentleman sitting next to you as well. All right, good morning. Good morning. How are you? My, I'm very fine. Okay, what is your name and why do you love Mean Machine? My name is uh, Alex Muganda, and I love Mean Machine very much. This is a place where I find all types of men who interact at all levels, including the social. But. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm getting that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you don't just play rugby. Yeah. yeah. You don't just play rugby. All right. And okay. what uh, position do you play? I play flank number seven. Okay. And also blind wing number eleven. We don't know what that means, but uh, we know you do a good job, right? <laughs> yeah. My job mainly at flank, mine is to defend. Okay. And carrying balls far. Fantastic. Yeah. So you're fast as well. That is. Okay. Gentleman next to you. Good morning. How morning. are you? I'm good. Excellent. What is your name, sir? I'm Festa Safari. Oh, great name. Okay. Why did you decide to join a rugby and Mean Machine? And what's the experience like? Okay. I joined Mean Machine because it, has, it gives a platform for young men to express themselves. Yeah. Excellent. Do you love it? Yeah. When you look um, at the future, do you feel like this is something you want to do in terms of you know, the Kenya team, or do you feel like you'll go into banking, for example? Yeah, I have my ambitions. Tell us, please. Claim okay. them right now, brother. I want to play for the Kenya team and go far. Clap for him, y'all. You are. We're going to remember you. I bet you anything you'll be in Hong Kong running with a ball somewhere. Cindy, all of you, I hope the best for you. Gentlemen in the red hat, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Excellent. Tell me your name and your love for the mean machine. Okay, my name is Nyamongo Otachi. 
I've uh, been a main machine player from since I was uh, in first year. Wow. Now I'm in, I'm in fourth year. So it's a, it's a, you know, when you join main machine, you feel like you've been like back to home. Yeah. You know, after you've come from up country, now you're at home. Yeah. Bonding. You're bonding. And these are serious. your brothers now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, the guy next to you looks very official. I thought he was actually maybe one of the directors. Of I, did, I didn't think, because you're dressed so officially. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. What is your name? And tell me about rugby for you. I'm Eric Mudawa. And I'm the finance manager of... I knew Oil it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew you were an official. Are you really? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, tell me what that entails. You have to budget for these guys? I handle the money that comes in the team. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking for more? They are. <laughs> I only handle the money. For you, it's about handling it. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, is this something that um, you, you want to couple rugby and finance? Do you see yourself doing both in the future? Yeah. How? Maybe rugby. working for a rugby team as a financier? No. What, tell me. Doing rugby as a part-time thing, like most of the rugby players in Kenya do. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. I mean, I think we see Akina Collins and all those guys, and it seems that they're doing very well. Does rugby pay well? Don't um, look at the um, director. You can tell no, me the no, truth. Um, um, <laughs> at, at my level now, yes. Really? Somehow, yeah. But okay. I've not been to the higher level, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully it's better up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Stylish guy sitting right there. <laughs> Tell me that you dress the team. I'll believe you. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Zach. Okay. I'm Jacob Sio. I, I play number fourteen. I'm the winger. Winger. Yeah. I'm the fastest guy in this team. Yay! Mm. Of course. And your experience so far? I think I've had a fantastic time with the team because when I finished high school and I wanted to join rugby. I wanted to associate with the cream de la cream, the best university side. So I looked around and I saw machine. And by chance, I got, I got a chance to also study here. So I think this has been one of the best moments in the university. Yeah. And I look forward to more memories with them. OK. Yeah. Can I ask you a weird question? Yeah. Who's the fastest winger in the world? In the world? Yeah. Uh, Perry Becker. Are you faster than him? We've, I, I think we can go ahead on. Yes, Perry Becker, whoever you are. Yay. Is that your ambition, to be the fastest rugby player in the world? Uh, my ambition, first of all, is to make my team great. Okay. And then the rest come as add-ons. So if I can manage to be the fastest guy in the pitch and uh, give my team glory, I think that's the best I can achieve. Well said, well yeah. said. All right. And, of course, the gentleman sitting next to you. There are more of them, okay? If you're watching at home thinking we're, we're not done, there's more guys in the audience. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Your name, please. I'm Gravy Sonino. Okay. I play at Hookah. That's number two. Yes. I can also play at back row. Okay. So yeah. two positions you can. Yeah, I'm a utility. Okay. Forward, yeah. Which one is your favorite one? Hookah. Hookah. That's what I've been playing for the past three years. Okay, and yeah. does Captain Rene know that's your favorite position? Yeah, he puts me there. <laughs> okay, so what, what if you end up, Rene, what if you end up in a position you don't like? Is that possible, but you're good? It's possible, but we've modeled our team in such a way that you, we look at your strengths and your weaknesses. Yeah. So you might be very good at sidestepping, but you're not fast. We cannot right. put you at wing. Okay. So we majorly base our team selection on your strengths. So that's why... He came to machine as a back row, but okay. we play him at hook. Amazing. Yeah. And, and uh, he's very good. He's very good. Very, huh? very good. I want to talk a little bit about the pressure. Does it ever happen where, for example, one guy can lose the game for the whole team? It can, right? It does. Of course. Have you ever endured that, my dear? Yeah, but, but very encouraging, encouragingly, we have good teammates that encourage you once you have done a mistake. It's yeah. normal, but they encourage you. That's how... We manage. That, it's just life, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Thank In the second me. row, we have the lady sitting there. It's not a part of Mean Machine, y'all. All right. Hi. There's a gentleman sitting right there with the denim jacket, with, with the sweater. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Kobe. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Fantastic. I, 
I think you're the happiest member of me. <laughs> yeah, you're smiling. Uh, Good. Exactly Tell me your problem. name and, and your position, please. Uh, my name is Joseph Karoki Zidane. Nice. <laughs> okay. I play in the hooker position, and I can also play in the scrum of position. Fantastic. Do they name you Zidane because of headbutts? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> okay, tell me. Uh, well, growing up as a young boy, I used to play football. And I okay. uh, used to do the flicks and stuff. Yeah. Zidane was famous for those. So. Very true. Which yeah. one is easier, football or rugby? Uh, well, you can't compare football with rugby. You can't, actually. The injuries are insane. <laughs> All right. But you love it. Yeah, I love rugby. And Excellent. I love the machine. Okay. Gentlemen next to you, the most handsome. Guys, you can Thank take you. that crown. You're welcome. Hello. <laughs> Tell me your name and, and your position and, and your experience in the team. Uh, okay, thank you. My name is Marvin Karungi. Uh, I can play uh, at least three positions. Okay. I'm a scrum half. I can also play at fullback. And I've been thinking of trying <laughs> as fly half number 10. Nice. Yeah. You just want to do everything. Not really, but... Yeah. I think they fit me. Okay. Yeah. Looking at, of course, guys, the strategy for 2017 uh, in terms of the tournaments, are you where you wanted to be, Chairman? The, these are the fruits of 2017, oh, actually. Really? Yeah. You got these trophies this year? Yeah, yeah this fantastic. year. Fantastic. And we okay. need, we need this more. This is one month. Yep. Guys, clap for yourself. This is amazing. Amazing. Going forward, it's an election year, which means a lot of things have um, sort of stalled mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Um, has it affected you guys at all, Bona Director? Yeah, it has. Um, okay, it has, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> Captain. <laughs> he office, yeah, he he official, yeah. but not the game. Not the game. Okay. September is a, is, a, is, a, is a very busy period for, yes, it for, is. for rugby. Yes. So, uh, it really, it is affecting. It will affect. But we are, we're, not, uh, we're not losing focus. Will be there come Absolutely. September. Absolutely, and preaching yeah. peace throughout. Yeah. Preaching yeah. peace yeah. and sports is one of those things that unifies unifies a community and a country. And I'm just so grateful you guys came today. Thank you. Okay. I've learned a lot. Haven't you guys learned a lot? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know all this about about Mean Machine and rugby and what it takes. But congratulations on all the great milestones so far. Before we go, I I asked them earlier and they just looked at me like I was a little crazy. Can you teach us the anthem? Okay. You can. Gentlemen, come up here. All of you, please. Come on, let's stand right here and do the anthem. Yeah? I think so. I know. Sing us no. Yes. You love rugby. You do. I know. I've seen your Instagram. You can go to my rugby game. You're going to have fun, spectator. All right, guys. Come up here, everybody. I'm going to stand at the front. You guys ready? You ready to act? So many pretty ladies. This, they, they could, I, I, would we have single guys here? Yeah, all of us. Yes. All of, us. All of them are single. All of us. <laughs> Look at the beautiful ladies. Shall we hook up? Up, nice like do some Maybe nice hookups. But before, stay focused on the game. All right. Um, I'm gonna stand here. I don't know the song. Okay, Captain, we're we're gonna wait for you. Tuko. Tuko. Abso. My faith is built on nothing else but the spirit of me machine. Going away to make a try against all the other teams. Oh, me machine, I lay my trust. All other teams are sinking sides. All other teams are sinking sides. Yay! Give it up for me machine. Thank you, gentlemen, very, very much. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.